Here's the 1 0 to Machado. Oh, man, look out. That one drilled the home plate umpire, Mike Everett. Mm. He took it as a direct hit. He did. The catcher, Cervelli. Yeah, it looks like one of the other umpires is going to go in and put the. Uh, put some. Uh, put his gear on. He's going to take over at home plate. Well, Mike Everett has given up the uh, equipment from behind the plate and it looks like uh, Tony Randazzo now will move to behind the plate to call balls and strikes. Foul back good rip and that got Jerry Lane in the right arm. Wait, right in that bicep area elbow. You have protection around certain parts of your body there as a home plate umpire but that's one of those spots we can just not. Adam's going to walk him off. So slight delay here while the Gibson gets his gear on. Gibson takes the lineup card, puts it in the chest pocket. We're just about ready to start back up here. Bottom of the eighth inning, we look down on the field and notice we're missing an umpire. CB Bucknor is not on the field here in the late innings. Hope nothing's physically wrong with CB. So we'll have a base umpire at first and third. C.B. Bucknor was at first base. He was scheduled to be the home plate umpire here tomorrow night. We'll see how that works itself out for game two tomorrow. Chris Conroy is still calling the balls and strikes. Mikhail Sokolovich is on for Atlanta. Another one, two. Now back. Now it's off the field at Colbert. And that rung his bell a little bit. You can see him McCann holding him up. Adam Nevola comes out. Great off the mask, the side. And McCann is able to hold him up. I don't know what could be done, and I'm sure they've looked at it. But for as long as I can remember, catcher's masks, which is essentially what umpires use, have always kind of just been the same. CB Buckner's heading downstairs, so I wonder if he's going to. Go get the gear on. And like with any player, you know, the protocol for the concussions is got to take effect right here. And so we will play the rest of this game with a three man crew. And after that long conversation, now they make the decision that they will pull the home plate umpire, go with the three man rotation as Bader takes over in center. So John Brabia got loose and now he has to stand around. Well, what happens is uh, the third base umpire goes in. That was, uh, I beg your pardon, the second base umpire, Hunter Wend Wendelstead, has to go in and put on his equipment. He puts on the chest protector, shin guards, and he brings out his mask. Each are designed to fit the different umpires and they each have their own set. Hunter Windelstadt put on his equipment to go behind the plate. John Brebia had gotten loose. I'm sure they'll give him a few pitches to get back in ready to roll. He must not have a good move because he hasn't shown it yet. Uh oh. Oh look out home plate umpire. Marty Foster goes down after taking a foul tip. Down to one knee and he is shaking. Here comes Doug Teeter. Ooh, that was right in the mask. I think shortly we're going to see one of the other umpires walk back into their uh, dressing room and put the uh, gear on possibly. Foster back to his feet. Good sign. Checking out the jaw. Got his bell rung but it appears he'll stay in. In the meantime between innings it appears Marty Foster who you might recall was hit square in the face or the mask I should say in a foul ball decided he just can't continue. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that he stayed uh, as long as he did. 
So Foster will depart and I believe Greg Gibson will uh, head back underneath and has it is Greg Gibson. He has gone back to put the equipment on. And he will resume as the home plate umpire. So let's proceed here injury free if we can. And Greg Gibson, the crew chief, is now the home plate umpire. And Peterson fouls the first pitch off Tom Hallion. John Fukazi wow. coming out from Philly's training staff. Well, that ball really cut. Sure and then bam. That's the worst part about that off Tom Hallion's the bottom that hit. The bottom of his face mask. So this is the one that gets your jaw. If that hits you straight on, up around your eyes. Phil Cousy's going to go inside. So I think Tom Hallion's going to exit this game. So Phil is going to have to put the uh, the gear on. It's probably better to be cautious in that situation because he has had concussions before. So we're in a delay here. It seems like uh, it's an umpire delay as we change things up. This is uh, after the strikeout of Justin up to Jerry Davis. Takes the mask off. Immediately yeah. calls down to the first base umpire, Ryan Additon, yeah, who had right the plate yes, on right away. the uh, Monday night game, the opener. The umpire's coming in quickly for Jerry Davis. Told by Angels PR that uh, Jerry Davis dealing uh, with some dizziness. So we're ready to go. We'll go with a three man crew the rest of the way. Hopefully, Jerry's all right. Foul off Guccione's mask, I believe. Oh, they want to make sure the umpire's all right. Oh, boy. Cervelli's holding on to him. I'd be a little surprised if they let him continue. If there's any doubt, and we know these days you don't mess around with that. I think they're going to let him go. He's, he's maybe arguing his case. But if there's any doubt, um, there's there's no need to to continue. I mean that. Guccione, yep, he's going to. Home plate umpire always has a lineup card, so he's going to leave. And uh, there'll be a, an umpire getting a, getting dressed to, to be the home plate umpire. And three man crew. Yeah, we, we hope the best for Chris Guccione. Hopefully, it's just precautionary. Red Sox have never done it. Who has? Oh, that got the umpire. Oh, that was staggering. We'll see if Onora is okay. Sandy Leone. Man, he he had his face in there big time, and you see it just staggers him, like he got knocked in the chin, it's like somebody just punched him right in the chin. Look at his head is right in there, and it even ricocheted off of Leone's mask himself, slowed it down, and still stunned him. Brad Pearson guiding him off the diamond. And he went down the tunnel. So one would assume we're going to go with three umpires the rest of the night. Seattle's up three nothing here in the bottom of the third. Uh, the umpiring crew along with Mike Sosha and Adam Nebula tending to uh, one of the umpires. And uh, that looks like the uh, second base umpire Tony Randazzo. Looking at his left hand or wrist. That's the something must have just happened. We didn't see anything. Now they'll have the discussion where they're going to have the infield or infield umpires situated. Three man crew. Halos down three nothing as we start at the top of the fourth. Then he mentioned that uh, Tony Randazzo, second base umpire, had to uh, leave the ball game where the, the three man crew finally figured out what the problem was. Zay Miguel Fernandez throwing the baseball over to David Fletcher at the end of the last half inning. Smoked Randazzo right in the left wrist thumb area. Uh, that's why he is not on the field. Probably went to get uh, some precautionary X-rays downstairs to see how, if anything, if there's any damage. Or yeah, ge generally as an umpire, you're not thinking about that throw around the right. diamond there with the third out of the inning. We are seeing that a lot more often. Good infielders that last out. Tony Randazzo's back. He's like a hockey player. Yeah. Looks like he taped an aspirin to it. This yep. guy got hurt. A throw across the diamond after the third out, right on the finger. And 
Speaking of hockey, we're going to see some hockey players for the Ducks taking some BP tomorrow night. Gary Sanchez, who blasted a long home run in the third inning, is on deck. That one tagged down the left field line. He reached out and touches the wall in the corner. Ben Benintendi makes a nice play to cut, throw into second base, a slide, he's safe. Maybe talking to Andy Fletcher out there. Look like he tweaked something making that call. Came up a little bit lame, and they're taking a look at him. Kind of grabbing at his calf, maybe. I even thought to look at the umpire on that. The spin by Benintendi and the throw being right on the money, one hopper. Meanwhile, we got a calf problem. And you can see him kind of hop after. He made that call. Sort of oh. grabbed on him. Yeah. He got the call right. And this has happened a couple of times this year. If in fact this will be the, the case here, it looks like it is that we've had to play a game, the remainder of it, with three umpires.